was uh, I played in I, I did the Mexico tour and then um, I played in Miami at Space and it's my best friend's birthday tonight and he's here so I came here for my friend's birthday and then I I called this DJ from here and said hey I'm coming if you want I can play and then he arranged the party tonight so it's between uh, my best friend's birthday party and yeah. And do you think there is something special about Havana? The architecture is very beautiful, the people are nice. I mean I just arrived, it's my first time here. So my first hour is here. I can't tell you exactly, I can't tell you a lot, I just can tell you I feel good here. Um, ah yes. And yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Cuban audience? Like what are your expectations about China? Um, I don't know. I've never been here. But do you know anything about how the uh, Cuban people react to electronic music? No. Thing? No. Uh, I don't know how they react. <laughs> I, 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 I know how they dance on uh, on their own music, as well, but I don't know. I never been here. Yeah, but are you like nervous? Are you like what are you expecting of this night here? To exchange music and good vibes. <laughs> but what I don't know because I never been here. You know, it's uh, I really don't know. Uh, a year ago, you played in the festival with Joy Segura. Hmm? A, a year ago, you played in the festival. Yes. With the Joy de Cuba and also with Divas, uh, you're playing now with Divas Brothers and Daniela Vasquez. What do you think is going to be like the, the, the experience with them? The, the, the play with the uh, Cuban DJs. With Cuban DJs, like Daniela Vasquez and... Uh, I mean, uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, like Cuba isn't like the, like a place for electronic music, and now it's having it's growing the intensity of the electronic music. What do you think about that? About going from traditional music in Cuba and now? I think um, the DJ here, DJ Cuba, um, he is uh, he's playing since the 90s electronic music, so it's not nothing new. It's very underground and. Um, this, this is underground and I think it will stay underground because um, you have your own music very strong and this is just a little part of the music scene, electronic music. I don't think so that you're getting really big here, I don't know. I'm not from here, you have to answer me this. What do you think about the future of electronic music in Cuba? <laughs> no, but like... To answer you! But like, you know, like, uh, the is increasing. Actually, here in Cuba, we don't really have like a cultural uh, music, like the underground. With you have salsa, no? Yes, salsa, yeah. Afro, uh, Cuban music. Afro music, yeah. So, um, yeah. So Cuba, I think Cuba is a is a country with a lot of music and beautiful music, and the people enjoy music a lot. And then there's a little small, small mini scene of electronic music. It's just a little part of the of the music scene. Um, changing a bit the topic, and what do you think about having a festival, an electronic music festival, international here in Cuba? What do you think to have an international uh, festival in Cuba? Yes. What do you think about it? I will love it, but... but you do see? You good! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Okay, so give me like, do you have like, a message for, for the Greek community, for the people who love your music and wish to see it tonight? So I'm happy to be here, Just I just arrived, so this interview is too early, so I, I hope I can share nice feelings here and that's why I'm here. Music you do with Cuban music? <laughs>
Um, first I have to listen to the music, what the people do here, because I have no key. I don't know. So, um, I, have, I had no plan here for... I'm just here to enjoy the vibe and when I see what happened, I can give you an answer about us now. I just arrived.